Hello. I got a batch of new step stick motor drivers through um, recently to go into my Polograph SD kits. Uh, and they are a different brand, uh, well, the, the genuine Polaroid ones, as opposed to the step sticks, which I normally get, which are the generic um, open source version of those. Um, and I noticed they behaved a bit differently when running them. They get a bit hotter, they get a bit more noisy. Um, and what they actually need doing is a bit of tuning. So I think what it is, is that, I'll show you them here, that the regular step sticks, which are these ones, um, these are the open source versions, these are the Pololu ones which are installed in this uh, Polograph SD at the moment. Um, the regular ones don't need much tuning, they work fine out the box, well, with their default setting, whatever the pot happens to be set to, straight away. Um, they're a better fit, I think, for the Polograph SD, but either could be made to work. These ones, however, these require a bit more tuning, and I'll show you this. I spotted this when I was testing this one, which I'm making up at the moment. Uh, just turn the motors on. You could hear them going there, and they sound a bit um, sort of crunchy. And that's because they're reverberating off the uh, off the desk here, and I'm doing that so you can hear them a bit better. And if I go to just position and then this is B so you can hear that it's quite noisy um, that's this little set in here this little thing here is about halfway halfway around so it's set to about half half power I guess um, it's not quite as simple as that but it's more or less um, or I, this is what I think of it as being anyway um, if I turn this up, or I turn this down rather, to about a quarter, well actually it only goes around that far so it's less than a quarter, then try that again, you can hear that immediately, that's much different, it's a smoother sound. And the difference is, I think, it's moving the same distance there, but I think the difference is, when it's up high, when it's turned up high, then the motors run up a lot of power, and the micro steps just don't work. There's supposed to be little steps in between each full motor step. So there's supposed to be eight steps in between each motor step. Um, when the power is turned up high, that doesn't happen. It just jumps hard from one step to the other. Not exactly sure why that is, but... Um, this is a good example of where tuning is quite important. There's something there's a point about there where it's still quite noisy. Right down at the bottom. Almost uh, almost silent. However, down at the bottom, there's got no gripping power either. So there's somewhere in the middle where it's got enough it's got enough power to grip to, to hold position but not too much power and it's noisy when it moves and that's somewhere near it that's it so it's about at that setting which is um, see this one is at the default sort of setting which is uh, it's about halfway this one is almost exactly a quarter of the way turned. Um, so, yeah, it's a good example of um, why you need to tune those sometimes. Sometimes it's fine, it works out the box. The standard setting is there for you and it's fine. Uh, sometimes you need to tune them a bit. Um, it shouldn't really matter as far as accuracy goes because it's still moving the same number of steps. Um, like in those in those examples there, it still moved the same distance. One was noisy and uh, importantly hot. Those motors, when they're turned up, get quite hot. The power supply, the regulator rather, and the um, Arduino gets quite hot. And the driver chips themselves will get quite hot because it's just trying to it's work with much more power than it actually needs. Um, 
So that's the main reason for me to turn to keep them down. It's not accuracy, it's uh, heat and it's noise because they're noisy while they're turned up because they get angry, over caffeinated. Um, so yeah, there you go.